Yeah, so who, who was your sporting idol growing up then? Who did, who did you admire most on the sporting field? <clears throat> Uh, I had a few idols growing up, to be honest. So, um, I, 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 obviously, from, from Ireland, you've always got some serious big Irish haters. Um, but as a young kid, I, I just I loved Mona Donna. And I loved yeah. the fact that he was small. I was small. I loved the speed of him. I was uh, lucky enough to be uh, you know, young enough and, and, and still glued on to watch uh, one of the, the, the World Cups at times. But between him and Jürgen Klinsmann, yeah. They were, you know, you've got to understand it's a, the, the Dave and Hairs versus the skill on the floor. The Germans and the Argentinians in the 80s were just absolutely incredible. And I yeah. was a massive, massive fan of all that. I used to get up in the mornings and watch uh, the Serie A, you know what I mean? I yeah, the one on, on, cha- on the Channel 4 telly and things like that, yeah. My yeah. goodness, the Sampdoria team, like the Lazio yeah. thing. <laughs> half eight in the morning, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, full blast. So I used to have a lot. I, I, I loved a lot of the different players. Um, I, I loved, obviously, John Barnes, beautiful in midfield, Ian Rush. But then you go into the Irish players, you know what I mean? And I also was a big fan of Nal Quinn, just because, yeah. just there, just... Well, because, because just, you could never be six foot six. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I wonder what it's like to be up there. But uh, yeah, that was that was um, yeah. I, I would say that was mine, with all due respect. The Irish sporting idol, I, mean, I think it's probably more to home, and he's a bit more real to me. Was Paul McGraw? Paul McGraw was was Beautiful. the Irish idol when I was a kid, so it would have to be Paul McGraw. I think in my eyes. Did you have any other sport idols, for example, in any other sports? Was it always football? No, I used to love boxing. I was a big boxing fan as well. I used to love Nigel. I, I loved Nigel Ben as a kid wow. growing up as well. I used to love Nigel Ben, um, and I think like, it was a bit before my time. But I grew up in that era of Muhammad Ali being that 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 superstar, um, and you were getting clips of him. Um, as I said, it wasn't we, we didn't the TV didn't have as much footage of any sport in those days earlier on, but. I think Muhammad Ali would have been certainly someone who who I used to love, but I, I did love the boxing. I loved the, the the boxing around the time when the middleweights were still good, with Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, yeah. Um, yeah. and whoever, and then even in, even a little bit later as well, through in, into the nineties and, and late eighties, when if Steve Collins came around and I said oh, Nigel Ben, I love I love Ben, I love Ben, I, I love, love the way, his way they used to fight. Yeah, yeah his so there, there, there was some great great boxers around that time as well. So what, I was I was a big boxing fan, yeah, huge boxing fan as a kid.